second. So uh, we try to host a, a, a coach and a mentor meeting every uh, other week. So just keep us connected to each other. If you have any questions, if you have anything that you want to discuss about how to coach kids, we can share on this platform. So we hope you know more and more students and the coaches will uh, get involved. So uh, for today's meeting, our main goal is to share some preliminary information about the event, uh, the upcoming festival on February 25th. So we have our event coordinator, uh, Dr. Hing. He uh, is in charge of the, you know, the meeting organization. He will join us very soon. So I will just take some time before we get started. I want to uh, just talk about the volunteering, yeah. So as you know that this event, we will have um, more teams comparing the first event. We had um, seven teams last time for the first event. And uh, we are trying, we will have more teams this time. So I would like to uh, share with you that there are some, um, hope you can see well. <clears throat> you can see my slides, right? There are some logistics things that I want you to do. So uh, uh, if you are welcome to volunteer, please uh, complete the first use protection screen. So there's a training there, so you can just uh, go um, finish this uh, training. And also, please do not forget to register your team members under the team number and team name. So I uh, try to do this uh, before the qualifier, before the festival. And also there is, uh, you know, a volunteer sign up link. This is on your dashboard. I can copy the link here. So this is the link for um, our mentors, coaches to uh, to use to sign up for uh, volunteers. There are several roles open. So we are looking for uh, volunteers based upon our last year's experience. That's you. So based upon our last year's experience, we encourage all the judges or all the uh, coaches to be a reviewer. So we really uh, want to uh, keep up the same format for this year. And uh, luckily we will have more uh, parents get involved. So we'll let you know uh, how many volunteers we we'll still uh, need. But uh, <clears throat> this is the place that you can sign up as volunteer. You just need to, uh, uh, just need to uh, select a role and you can find the event. Go by dashboard selection. Uh, you have different options. Just find the uh, FL Explore and uh, find the dates, then you can find the event. So I see one question here, yes. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Yen. So you will be the volunteer, very good. Please remember to register. And uh, there are some, you know, uh, videos, actually there are pictures about our first event. I can share this later in case uh, uh, we are not, uh, you know, for some teams, they have never uh, attended a festival. Uh, so this will be uh, helpful to get an idea on what's going on, yes. Okay, so uh, it looks like, uh, you know, uh, coaching, uh, he cannot join us right now. So uh, I will just share with you uh, based on the information we have right now. As you know that this is, our, um, you know, uh, second festival uh, for this season, and it will be hosted in uh, UMBC. On the same day, it's the state championship for the FL Challenge. So uh, kids can come 
to attend the festival in the morning, have some fun just to walk around. There's a big campus. And in the afternoon, I would really encourage you to stay because you can see how after FL Explore, that will be the FL Challenge. So you can see how the competition looks like and uh, you can see yeah, a lot of fun parts about this uh, FL Challenge. So this is the date. Please save the date. That is uh, February 25th. For uh, any team you have signed up, please make sure that uh, put the date on your calendar. And this is the address. <clears throat> so this is the place that we are going to uh, go. Uh, the map is here. Uh, when we approach to the festival, we are going to uh, send you those uh, information like the map, the parking place, and the venue for you to load your uh, Lego robot. So all those details will be uh, providing to you. So at this time, we'll just give you some preliminary information to let you know how the festival will go through uh, during the day. Yeah. So this is the address. This is the location. is the Retriever Activity Center. So make sure that you can find uh, uh, the right place. It's a pretty big place. So make sure you find the right parking. And also, uh, as you know that, uh, for the FL Explore event, you, when you bring your team model and it's required to include all the three FL Explore competition kit, kits. So you need to bring that. And also you need to bring your team model and this board, the paper board, please don't forget to bring it with you. And uh, now we have uh, three, uh, as we said, this is a pretty preliminary information. Uh, we will see, um, we'll finalize very soon. So as you know that on uh, February 25th, there will be a FL challenge, you know, a championship starting from the afternoon. So we will, need to finish our, you know, uh, all events in the, for the FL Explorer by noon. So in this case, if someone, you know, any coaches or mentors, you came to uh, the Rockville Science Center, you will see the schedule is uh, slightly different. We will have to start early. So we'll have this uh, uh, event checking, you know, from uh, around nine o'clock. It could be a little bit earlier. We are still waiting for some uh, confirmation about the, the deliberation room. So we will just finalize with you in the following days, but uh, be prepared that you will uh, start this event, uh, you know, uh, start checking soon. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And we'll give you about like a 30, 45 minutes ish for you to set up. And um, then we will have uh, the, you know, uh, we'll have the, you know, uh, volunteers uh, and especially the reviewers meeting. We try to have the renew uh, reviewers meeting uh, as early as possible. So, um, uh, last time we had uh, seven uh, teams, so this time we have uh, 22 teams so far. Excuse me. Sorry about that. So we have uh, about uh, 22 teams, so it will be uh, in several rounds. So once the first round, you know, we have finished the reviewing, we encourage you to uh, leave the venue, leave the you know uh, judging space, and you can go to uh, the campus to just have some fun to explore a little bit, and then we just we just let the team who will be uh, reviewed, who will be interviewed, to come to the schedule time. So this is what we are going to do. 
And then we will have, uh, it's around 11, 11, 15 years, we are going to have the award ceremony. So this time we will still uh, maybe change a little bit and we try to finish everything by uh, 12 because we need to prepare the venue for the uh, FL challenge. This is uh, basically uh, how <coughs> This is basically the schedule that we have. And uh, I don't know if any of you have any questions. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Parking yet uh, will be, let me just give me one second. I went there uh, myself uh, for the um, FL Challenge uh, kickoff. It is not too far if we are just uh, talking about the same place. This venue, I did not go by myself. Uh, uh, Dr. Ching has went up in there. I think it's not supposed to be uh, very far. However, you know, we have a Lego pieces really maybe prepare a wagon or some, you know, way or big container, make sure that you can transport the Legos. Just give me one second, I'll get myself some water. Yeah, so uh, sorry about that. Um, Miss He, uh, she's coughing and uh, apologize for that. And uh, this is a uh, UMBC campus. Um, uh, if you are not familiar with that, I think it's uh, just off the uh, Interstate Six and Five. Uh, um, the you know the railway of Baltimore, um, and very close to ninety five as well. Um, you, you can continue. Thank you, Dr. Yang. Yeah. So uh, basically we give you some information about um, the venue and the uh, schedule. Just be prepared that the, event, the festival will start soon. It will last about uh, three hours ish because we have 22 teams. We need to finish all the <clears throat> reviewing and we'll have deliberation session and we'll have a uh, you know, award ceremony. Uh, it's about like uh, three hours ish. <clears throat> so. Uh, I want to know if you have any other questions about this uh, uh, festival. Okay, so if you don't have any questions about the event itself, so maybe we can just uh, share a little bit. What uh, <clears throat> are you like, in, are you pretty ready for this? Uh, uh, first of all, if you have any questions about uh, what will be judged, what will be revealed during the interview session, do you have any questions about that as well? So how many teams here are the first time for you to attend the uh, FL Explore Festival? Can you uh, raise your hand? Heather, this is not the first time for you, right, Heather? Okay, Matt, this is the first time, yeah. So do you know what you need to bring? Do you have an idea or you want us to uh, <clears throat> help you with that? Um, so I, I think we have a good handle on the stuff to bring, right? It, it, it's the... <clears throat> It's the three pieces of the model on the board and their, and their poster. So I, 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 the stuff I'm not so worried about, it's just getting the kids through whatever presentation or the, the grading or judging that they're supposed to be going through. That's, a, that's the thing that I'm just, I'm not sure about how that's gonna. So yes, uh, 
Yes, it's kiss usually uh, it is suggested, but it's not required to have a presentation about the team, team model, the journey they have taken to, <clears throat> to build their model. And this year is the theme is about the energy. So how can they uh, share the knowledge about what they have learned about the you know, uh, energy and how can they come up with their team model? So we want them to share us their learning process. What kind of uh, uh, questions they have identified and what kind of solution they are seeking for and how can they uh, make some impact in the community and what kind of innovation idea they have. So all those things, if they can put together to give a very uh, you know, simple uh, presentation will be very helpful. However, this is not required. We want kids at this age to have the opportunity to explore the STEM. They have fun to show the team spirit, to show uh, some basic concept about the coding, about, you know, uh, building. That will be very, very helpful, yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, Judging session can be about like 10 to 15 minutes long. And usually, you know, we encourage our reviewers to be very, very nice uh, when we talk to kids. It's really like a, a kid talk to the parents just to share what they have uh, learned. One kids to really uh, be very excited to share what they have learned, yeah. So we have uh, Coach Jackson here. Coach Jackson, hi, how are you? Uh, thank you so much for sharing your, you know, experience last year, and we're really thankful uh, for you uh, being here. So you can maybe uh, share with other coaches, uh, because we have Coach Matt here. This is the first time for him to join this uh, festival. So maybe you can uh, help, you know, if you have some any other experience, you may can share with uh, the rest of the team, yeah. You're asking if I have any feedback for festivals? Yes, they have um, just Coach uh, Matt have mentioned about this festival for the reviewing process, right? Matt, this is the question you have, right? Yeah, just I was just curious about expectations, but that, that's all. So it, coaches like me, it's Karen, we go around, they're all very interested in the kids, care about the kids, helping them feel confident. Um, what we usually do to prepare our kids is have them just talk and we even will video them. We don't make it high stress, but they do like being videoed and seeing themselves. We have a team right now where the kids, this is their first year. They're really worried about it. We just keep reminding them it's coaches like you and me that they're just helping them feel comfortable. They're just going to share their robot. One other thing that really helps is if they can practice, if they can take their bot home for a period, or even a parent comes, if when they come to pick them up, have them take two minutes and just explain how the bot works and show the code. The more they do that informally, the more it will just be, that's what they're used to doing, and they can point at the screen and explain what the block does. That's the kind of practice I would do with them, just so they're, they're more comfortable. Oh, I've done that before. I can do that here. Wonderful uh, suggestion. Thank you so much. Uh, Coach Jackson, she has a lot of experience with uh, FL exploring the FL challenge. Yeah, that's a great idea, like uh, uh, to talk to parents, right? And sh to share what they have learned. That's great. And uh, anyone else you want to share? What do you do with kids? Dr. Yang, you are here, uh, Roting. Uh, Dr. Yang, you are uh, also a coach with the, you know, FL Explorer team. Maybe you can share some ideas you have, or if you have any questions, just yeah. let us know. Uh, so in my team, I try to uh, uh, let them finish the model earlier, so we have more times to um, prepare for the presentation. So uh, besides the three. Um, uh, explore models, we will build up our own models. So um, I think the um, one of the challenges for, for us is that how to let the kids to uh, present their idea in, the, in their own language. 
So they can be a very uh, freestyle uh, sometimes, and all they can be uh, skip all the key points. So that's the challenge we are facing. So we will, um, I think uh, we still have a month to work on that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, coach. Yeah, yes. So, any other uh, coaches you have any uh, good ideas you want to share with the team, with the group? And, uh, Prezi, is this the first time for you? Krista, so just feel free if you have any questions. Oh, hi, I'm sorry. Just got, oh. yeah. Yes. Um, actually, it's our, our, our oldest son um, did uh, first Lego League in the second and third grade. He's now in sixth grade. And so we're doing coaching for our youngest son and his team. And he's in the third grade. Hmm. So we are familiar with the process. Okay, very good. Yeah. Great. So I did have a question though, and I'm trying to look it up. My husband's a coach, so he knows a little bit more. But um, so we started our uh, group, it was actually after uh, Thanksgiving. So we're kind of a little behind. Um, we're on session, I guess, six. So um, we would not be ready for, you know, February 25th. When's the next um, event? Or is there any? Sure. There will be another event. There might okay. be another one, but the next event, what we have scheduled so far is the one on April 29th. That's in okay. Rockville, yeah. Okay, Rockville. Okay. So hopefully we can get everyone um, ready for that April 29th. Okay. Great. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Sure, thank you. So any other questions, Heather? Do you have any questions? Um, I guess we did a local event um, a few weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend, uh, but the kids Where that is? were, I'm sorry? Where was it? It was in um, Westminster. Oh, I see. It was Rose, um, Rose Young. I think the Pi 3 hosted it or something. So I don't think it was an FLL, like, sanctioned i guess festival that is probably not you know an official event uh, official event right. we receive our uh, trophy if we uh, run the event we provide each team a trophy and each every member will receive a medallion it's a very beautiful medallion uh, however we also uh, accept you know some places they have their local event this is a fine as far as kids they have fun uh, this is okay. However, as first, they encourage, you know, uh, our partners to uh, talk to the teams, invite the team to attend to the first official event. So then I guess my question is how different will this be um, from what we experienced at the local, like community level versus like what the I don't think it's a big difference in terms of the event itself because kids will be uh, uh, reviewed. I'm very positive that uh, it will be run the same, you know, uh, uh, process, review process. However, it's just not registered uh, in the with the partner. Yeah, it's a partner. Yeah. Okay, and we weren't fully ready for this festival, so we just. We just kind of did it just to kind of get the experience. Mm -hmm. And um, and like what Matt was saying, I think that was our biggest um, hang up was the kids trying to um, answer all of the questions that the reviewers had. There were some things that they were more uh, passionate about and others that they just kind of looked like deer in headlights, <laughs> like trying to answer. So we're, I think what we ended up doing is um, writing down some of those uh, key questions that the reviewers might ask and we're having them answer that and putting it on their poster so they can have like a reference now mm -hmm. so they don't just choke up and not know what to say yeah 
So at this age to do a presentation, uh, it's not easy for kids to talk to uh, adults and uh, need to uh, uh, do the presentation, especially need to explain some, you know, uh, uh, concepts they have learned, uh, explain the details about the codings. It's, it's uh, not easy work, but we don't want to push too hard to kids. We just want them to have fun. Um, and use their own words to do the presentation. Yeah. So I, I, this is a, like a local event. I just assumed this is a free event, right? Yes, it was. It was free, and I think there was only four of the explore teams yeah. there. So um, we know we took pictures and kind of took in yeah. like what what we saw. But um, one was really put together. <laughs> Yeah, and just then, for like, fun. Yeah, totally right. fine. Just for fun. We're trying to, uh, you, if you know, uh, even next year or later, if there's any like a school or any organization they can host, we can, uh, uh, as partner, we can just be there, uh, give you trophies. If you register the event you know, through partner website, that's in all, all different possibilities we can discuss. But I'm happy that you have. Uh, you know, attend the local event and the kids had fun and it, it were definitely, you know, something for our kids. Yeah, very good. So um, do you have any other questions? Okay, so let me see, Rina, if you have any other questions. Uh, no, uh, no, not something, nothing particular. Uh, today I had a chance to take my, they're second graders, so I took them to my older, da my daughter's team um, that was doing FLL challenge. So I took them there and to present. Um, it was hard to let them, they wanted to all talk about the coding and play with that card that we made. So it was hard to get them to stop doing that. <laughs> so uh, right now That's it's a challenge it. to have them take turn or uh, yes. uh, stop what they're doing and answer what's being asked. So that's the that's challenge right now, but uh, we sign up for April events. So there's still time, but that's our challenge. At this that's point. good. They will learn from there, yes. Uh, when we talk about core values, it's uh, the core value award. We already see how the team uh, works uh, together. Uh, that's good practice. Very good, yeah. So uh, I don't know if we have any other questions. And for sure, we will send you a detailed schedule once we got all the details from the uh, UMBC. And uh, we are very, very grateful to have support from UMBC and we can run this event together uh, with the um, FL challenge this year. So if you don't have uh, any questions, I just have one last thing I want to announce. It's just about uh, uh, FL Explore World Championship. We will get, you know, an uh, opportunity to send a name, uh, you know, one team for the lottery. So uh, we don't know what would happen, but uh, it's uh, an event will last from, uh, I think, uh, our April uh, 19 to April 22. It's uh, in Houston. It's uh, several days event. It's a long days and uh, you need to uh, consider all those facts and the registration fee will be $500 and uh, kids are required to be there for several days, but um, we just, uh, as partner, we want to just share this information with, with the group, with the team. So if there's anyone, any team you think you might be interested, uh, send me an information. As I said, this is a go by lottery. So send me information and uh, we need to, I expect uh, to uh, get your response back from me by this Saturday, yeah. So, um, that is what I have. So hopefully, uh, if you have any questions, you can stay. If you don't have any further questions, so I will just uh, uh, 
stop here. And uh, the idea is just to uh, give information uh, to teams who will go to the event on February 25th. Okay, that's it. Quick question. Um, if they, I have registered for April 29, if the team decides to change name a little bit, um, is that okay? Or is it already, papers are already? You mean yeah. change the name? Name of the team. Um, that is okay. You need to send me the information uh, okay. before the uh, festival. So, because we need to prepare, you know, uh, okay. the, the, the team information. Yeah. Okay. That's Thank still you. possible. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Okay. okay. So, if you don't have any questions, just feel free to drop up and uh, I will see you probably. Uh, uh, very shortly, um, hopefully most of you, I will see you on February 25th. Thank you. Do you need to wear 